Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the third episode number 30 and 49 reaction. Uh, these two again are like you know recommended to you uh, by you guys and I'm still taking recommendations. Uh, three more people can recommend two episodes each so if you want to uh, comment down in the comment box below and yeah I'm going to check them out as well. All right, so uh, the previous two episodes that I reacted to were the first episodes of uh, Rupan the third part three and um i really liked the uh you know like the change in uh art and animation that they took and it's, it's like you know you can see like it's like little by little evolving and uh, the art and everything and uh yeah we're coming like you know like uh, we can see the improvement and uh the um the two episodes that i reacted to was really good um uh, the first one was with i think the girl's name was jenny um you know like she gets involved in this uh, she and Rupan gets involved in this like you know this whole robbery thing where uh, Jenny was actually working for the like you know the the other guy uh, and you know like he told her that oh I'm going to like you know take her to Broadway if you are able to uh, like you know trick Rupan and by the end of it uh, he ends up betraying her and uh, Rupan and Jenny use their superior dance moves <laughs> to get out of the situation it was a fun episode and uh, yeah and uh, the, the other episode was um, Zenigata related uh, where Zenigata and the police force kind of gets to a, into a problem where the military gets involved and it was actually the military who uh, robbed them from uh, like you know a lot of gold took them took it from them and tried to blame it on Rupan uh, Rupan came in the scene and uh, Zenigata almost got killed thankfully uh, you know his <laughs> luck helped him out <laughs> and he was uh, fine just hospitalized and by the end of it we see Rupan and his crew actually uh, trying to help Zenigata out I think this is the first time we see them actively trying to help Zenigata out and it was nice to see that and in the end instead of taking the gold for themselves they actually bring it to Zenigata and Zenigata was <laughs> shedding a tear he's like oh you guys <laughs> I'll never forget this that was that was a nice episode it was full uh, action-packed and it, it was great so those two episodes um, like, you know, uh, were amazing and let's see what today's episode brings. Uh, today, as I said, I'll be reacting to episode 30 and 49. So let's start with episode 30 first. So yeah. All right. Uh, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right. So this is my reaction to episode 30. Uh, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. The sec. Damn, he, he just destroyed the tank with with a gun. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Hmm. All right. There's a bar, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. He's crying. Oh, nice.
Up, Fujiko is here. That's Fujiko, isn't it? They're like, what the hell? What's the lady doing here? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Rupan. This is Fujiko, isn't it? Or am I wrong? Let me. It's not Fujiko. Sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah, that's not Fujiko. Now that I see, okay. <laughs> Revenge. Oh, the cocktail named Revenge. Okay, <laughs> Rupa knows what's happening. I guess. It looks a lot like Fujiko. What's that? Well, gunshot, I guess. Bartender's rest. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, for the... Hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> well. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Did he just like puncture a tire or something and someone crashed? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't think that's what the hole is intended for, but I guess. Oh boy. hobby <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. it guess yeah The life of men reflected on the man. Oh. Oh boy. Damn, Rupan is just. <sighs> oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Why? Okay. What? Oh my god, so there's like something going on behind all of this. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at him. So, why did Fujiko ask about her? What the? Oh, I don't like what is that? Okay, something's going on. Hmm. <laughs> uh. 
Oh my god. Well, <laughs> you know him. <laughs> like, you know, Jigen has seen Lupin up until now. I'm sure he realizes that <laughs> that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, at least it's not Fujiko, you know, like, Fujiko would have just betrayed him. <laughs> at least that, that won't happen here. All right. It's called revenge, isn't it? Or there you go. Oh boy. Oh my god. Okay, so that's what happened. Okay. And he and she came here chasing that person. I thought it was something else. Like like someone broke her heart or something something like that. But no, it's something else. But prefers working for the land. Oh my god. Oh. That's fine, okay. One mistake. Daughter is alive, is that the mistake? There you go. Yeah, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Just sitting down. Okay. Well. Well, I think so, like, yeah, there you go, like, Jigen says that, so, yeah, <laughs> I was just saying this, oh my god, you brought him, Oh, okay. <laughs> I realized that. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, what was that? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, that's the... <laughs> so they took her into the plan because, you know, like, I, I feel like they're, they're trying to do something, like, you know, like, the, obviously they're trying to rob the, the, the thing, but this guy's related to a bank, so I'm guessing this is his bank and the money that they're transporting. So he'll be involved in this somehow, and they're making it so that this girl can come, can come and confront him. And I don't know, maybe like you know, like you know, like you know, like do something like like it will put a blow to his reputation or something. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like it's something along those lines. Like they're going to get the money. The girl's going to get get her revenge. Something like that. Alright, she's here.
Okay. <laughs> Calling an actor. Uh, actor in display. Okay. Is this him? It is him. Oh, he called him. Okay. There you go, it's his bank's gold. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. Look at the spotlight on top of him. Oh, does, does he have a gun in it? Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's why the... Oh my god, I realized what that hole was for. They're going to... Oh, wow, this plan is in intense. Wow, this is an insane plan. But okay, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought they were going to, okay. Oh. Okay, okay, never mind. I thought they were going to say something like, oh, the, the bullet came from outside and someone shot him and the girl is going to get her revenge but not get... Okay, never mind. Okay, okay, my god. This is, this is, okay. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> this plan is insane. Wow! <laughs> Nah, it would make him f her feel, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it has already been done. Yep, it has already been done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, now we need to get out of here. What the? What was that smirk for? <laughs> He's like, oh, what is this hole over here? That means someone shot the... Okay, there you go. They're taking the... Oh my god, I feel like Fujiko is going to do something now. Okay. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah. He probably has a gun with him. Yeah. What a fool. What a fool he came here alone with a gun in front of these. Yep. Oh wait, no. Oh my god. Yo. As always, that's why he was smirking. Fuji is probably going to kick you out as soon as the boat starts moving. Oh! Yo, this, this episode has layers to it. Don't worry, Fuji is going to kick you out soon.
Okay. Maybe maybe there's a hole in the Maybe there's a hole inside it. Maybe it's going to sink. Something. Actress. Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he knew that Fuji is going to betray him. Yeah, bye bye. Okay, I thought it was going to be reverse. But obviously not. This guy's a greedy. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, Rupan had his plan, I think. There you go, it's going to... It's going to... Oh! <laughs> there you go, I knew it, it's going to... Like a train, the boogie. All right. Oh, okay. All right, there you go. Now she'll get her revenge in a different way. Like his reputation will be in tatters after this. And yeah, like that's even better instead of killing him. Oh, they're here to, they're going to arrest you now. They're going to. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh boy, they're here for you now. <laughs> this <guy. laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole insurance, whatever you were saying to him. Oh my god. There you go. Wow, they got their money. She got her revenge in a better way. You know, if, if she killed him, that would have been it. But now he can just suffer forever. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Dave. Oh. Half. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three o'clock. There you go. Hmm. Discontinue. No more revenge, you know. Ah. She left the key there. <laughs> mm. 
Wow. Is, is that it? Whoa, this episode was insane. My god, it has so many layers on top of each other. <laughs> like, ah. Uh, wow, this is a good one. My god. <coughs> okay, so. Like, <laughs> I was expecting Fujiko to betray them by the end. It did seem like that's what's going to happen, but nah, they had another plan. And but the thing about Fujiko is she thinks about what's going to be more beneficial to her. Like, if it's more beneficial to, for her to betray Rupan, she's going to do that. But this time, I think she realized that, yeah, either way, this guy's going to betray me. So, yeah, I'll probably act like I'm betraying Rupan, but then, like, you know, like, kind of uh, screw him over and then go back. And that was the plan that he had with Rupan. Because she thought it was like, you know, it, it would be beneficial to go with Rupan this time instead of that guy. Because that guy was like a pure liar and a betrayer. So. <laughs> yeah, that's Fujiko, I guess. All right. I, that's the end. Yep. Okay. So what a good episode. I, I love this. Um, this one. Um, okay. It starts with at first I the girl when she comes in. The bar i thought it was fujiko now <laughs> it'll probably take me a few more episodes to actually get used to fujiko's art here because it's a lot different and i you know i feel like most of the rupan like you know girls you know who has like the same haircut as fujiko or who has you know like the same hair color the same facial structure as fujiko all look like fujiko like i i've multiple multiple times i've made mistake uh, of a girl like, and I thought she, she was Fujiko but by the end of it I realized like no she's not Fujiko she's a completely different character and the same thing happened here as well at first I was like okay this is Fujiko but <laughs> then when she starts talking that like you know like as soon as I heard her voice I'm like yeah this, this is not Fujiko like I, I know her voice and this is definitely not her <clears throat> and uh... <laughs> okay so it starts with this girl coming in this bar where everyone's just you know like chilling and yeah she comes in rupan is a bartender and so this was like a plan that rupan already had and uh, i don't know how he knew that this girl is going to come to that bar um because it seemed as if she made he made that plan that the girl would be here and uh, you know, like when Fujiko was asking him that, oh, is the girl there? And he's like, yeah, the, like, you know, all the actors are in place, something like that. So that meant that he knew that the girl's going to come here. I don't know why, how he was able to predict that. I think somehow he was able to probably, probably he, oh, I think maybe he, he made it like, you know, like did a research on the guy, you know, the, 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 the guy who was like you know, the bank guy, <coughs> he, Probably he made a research on him, like saw what happened, you know, like and, you know, realized uh, like, you know, the girl is still alive and probably tracked her down after that and saw that. All right, she's coming here. And then he realized that maybe he she's coming here to take revenge. And like probably he, he like you know, predicted all of that by just doing a little research on them. And uh, he she probably like, I don't know, like she, he probably knew that she's going to come here. And while passing this place, maybe she's going to see the bar and just to have a little bit of uh, an alone time, she's probably going to get there inside the bar. And that's why he became the bartender of this place. Probably something like along those lines. Like, I don't know, like how Rupan's brain works. It's, it's, it's insane. <laughs> but yeah, she ends up coming in. <clears throat> and uh, he... Okay, and he, he's like, all right, like, you know, I have a perfect cocktail for you. There you go. It's called revenge. And as I said, like, you know, like he, he probably just made a thorough research on them. And that's why he knew that this girl is probably looking for revenge. So here we go. <laughs> a cocktail named revenge. <laughs> and oh boy. Uh, and then the, the, the hole, the, the gunshot hole comes into, like, you know, uh, the scene. And the girl is like, um why is there a hole there and he's like oh it's it's called like you know what did he say bartender's rest and 
<laughs> and she he's like uh, the people that come here come here to chill and like you know like put away all the stress that they've accumulated throughout the day and the girl's like wait so is that for like fresh air or something <laughs> he's like no i just want to mess with i just like to mess with polices a little bit and he just shoots like a dart and i don't know what that dart was made of but he punctured the, a hole in the like you know the tire <laughs> <laughs> police officers were just and the girl was like but you know what like you know, this is a little bit dangerous you should not do this he's like ah don't worry it's only for the police cars not for the others <laughs> oh my god that was that was funny so um i i kind of realized that there must be some kind of a bigger role for the um the hole to play and it did come in the like you know later part but the way it was used i was I was impressed like you know the, the layers into the whole section all right so what happens after that is um rupan is like oh you're here chasing after a man aren't you now when he said that and when he started she started crying i was like okay wait a minute is this like some kind of uh, like, you know, broken heart betrayal something like that uh you know maybe maybe someone betrayed her to call her money maybe her like, you know, boyfriend or something just ran away i thought it was going to be something like that because the whole like, you know atmosphere was kind of like that and uh, <clears throat> but obviously like i i get proved wrong after that when when the, the whole thing comes into light uh now fujiko calls fujiko's like all right everyone's there the girl is over there question mark lupan is like yeah and uh, everything's according to plan zenigata is there the the truck is there with the gold and uh, tomorrow at uh 15 yeah or, or like you know 3 p.m we are going to start our play so and Rupan goes outside. Z uh, Jigen is there. <laughs> Jigen is like, you be careful with that woman, you know. Like I, I don't trust them. <laughs> what did he say? I, okay, there you go. I don't care if you keep the mellow man act, but I don't want to get jerked around by some broad <laughs> and see the plan collapse. But but I realized like you know like everyone knew at this at this moment like who was watching this like that the, this girl is not one of them like with one people who like with the one person who you need to keep a close eye on is Fujiko and she <laughs> she's involved in this uh, whole plan so like you know like you should keep an eye on her not this girl like she she seems genuinely like you know depressed so I don't think she's going to do anything like that. Uh, but I guess Jigen was probably trying to say that oh like you know if you try to help her out that might put the plan into danger I think that's what he was meaning by it I think that's what he was trying to say uh, that yeah like you know maybe like you know maybe you're, you're going to like you know Rupan is going to try to help her and by the end of it the whole plan is going to collapse before because of that uh, but Rupan was like ah it's okay like, you, know, you need a hero to brighten up the stage <laughs> god and uh, yeah so now interesting thing now i okay i'll talk about this later uh what happened so after that uh rupan you know gives uh her their cocktail and says like this is called revenge and uh that that scene was pretty nice you know the, the whole transition i think that was like where we see her with the glass and there's like the gunshot like you know uh hole and there was like a gunshot sound effect that came after that and after that we saw how her father was killed by a gun and that whole section that was the, the way they did that it was kind of cool and uh, we see how what happened to her and uh, uh like you know the person who is uh responsible for her father's death and this is when i realized like okay it's not any like you know revenge or like you know broken heart that type of a plot it's basically revenge she she just wants revenge for the for her father's death and that's that's you know what's happening and uh it talks like you know um and here we go there this kind of proves that rupan did his research he says like owner of an la bank but prefers working from the london london branch he grew a small organization into corporate behemoth it's all there in black and white and uh, the girl is like no he took my father's money took everything from us and uh, killed him and that's how he's so big now and uh, uh, like you know i want my revenge 
so then we go back to uh, Jigen and Goemon. <laughs> Goemon is <laughs> this scene was kind of funny. <laughs> Jigen was sit, uh, kind of just there, and go at first Goemon asks like, "Okay, is the girl okay? Like, is there any kind of like you know, you know, uh, threat that she's going to betray us or something?" Goemon, uh, Jigen was like, "Nah, it's fine. Like, the one we need to keep an eye on is Fujiko, not her." <laughs> I don't know what that that scene. <laughs> <laughs> Goemon <laughs> takes the ham, like, you know, the, the ham, uh, hamburger, I think, that's, it. yeah, he's like, I asked for an onigiri, and what are you giving me? <laughs> Jigen is like, they say English actors don't eat onigiri. <laughs> Goemon's like, what the hell are you talking about? What actors? <laughs> Jigen is like, Oh, the, the three are saying us to play a Hamlet, and <laughs> he's like, what the hell? <laughs> Hamlet ham? I have a ham with me? <laughs> that part was, I don't know why, but it, it was amusing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so then we go back to the main cast, and the girl goes away, and Rupan is like, alright, you, know, you come here tomorrow at 3 p.m., within 3 p.m. and we're going to like, you know, have a play ready for you <laughs> and the next day she arrives everyone's at their place Lipan is like all right so yeah like the, he's coming uh, and he wouldn't be late because he's one of the biggest actor in this play so in comes this guy um, Jack, I think Jack, that was his name, wasn't it? Jack Metusa or something like that? I forgot. But anyways, I'm going to call him Jack. <laughs> Jack comes in and... Uh, <clears throat> now, I... Here's the thing. Here, here I'm thinking something. Um, I was, at first I was wondering, why did he come here? Like, Rupan told him to come, that's why he came. I doubt it is that easy. Uh, and then maybe, I, I thought maybe like, you know, he was concerned that Rupan is going to do something to the money. But now, after seeing the whole episode, I realized he came here because he knew what Rupan is going to do, steal the money. He had the whole thing planned with Fujiko, and he knew that he was going to get the insurance money and that money as well. And that's why he came here. I realized it now. You know, like this was also part of his plan. Like, like Rupan, like you know, was ready to like you know trick him while he thought that he was ready to take Rupan, but Rupan already had another counter plan to that. Like it was, some, it's something like that, I think, and that's why he came here so easily. Like I, I was at first I was surprised. I was like, why did he even come here? Like who would even come like this just because someone called him? But yeah, the, the, it makes sense so much now. And he's, he's like <laughs> Rupan, like kind of narrates the whole section and i think like he was genuinely surprised when he saw the girl here he was not expecting her uh, i don't know if i i don't think fujiko told him about the girl yeah he wouldn't come here like this if he knew that the girl was here like that scene genuinely caught him by surprise so uh, rupan talks about how the heroine's here to get the revenge everyone's in their place but the villain is you so yeah you need to <laughs> you get ready for that and uh, like at like 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., it happens, the girl pulls out the gun, and you know what? I thought of a completely different plan over here. As soon as he pushed, she pulled out her gun and we saw the bullet, bullet hole, I thought, okay, so what they're trying to do is, he's going to, she's going to shoot him, you know? Um, I don't know if he'll die or maybe get injured, but the bullet uh, hole would prove that someone from the outside shot him and that's how you know like she wouldn't get uh like you know blamed for the crime or something like that i thought but you know i should have also th th like and i should have also thought about this that rupan would never do that you know rupan would never like you know he himself i'm sure he he's ready to kill people you know when necessary but i don't think rupan would ever make anyone any innocent person uh like you know like dye their hands in blood uh, if not necessary like this section I, I should have realized that at that moment but at the heat of that moment I thought like, something like that is going to happen like she's going to shoot him and they're going to blame it to someone outside uh, but I should have realized that yeah Rupan would never allow that you know Rupan would never allow someone to uh, stain their hands in blood if not 
like you know it's of the utmost necessity and uh, yeah revenge is never the answer so you know I, I should have known that he would stop her <laughs> as i said heat of the moment i thought that's what's going to happen but yeah as soon as like you know that whole section was playing like that i'm like oh this is how it's going to play out they're going to blame it to someone else outside but then we see the scene where rupan pushed her hand away you know and uh, <laughs> it was, like i don't like you know the, the 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 bullet went through the hole i don't know how he was able to do that and got the car in the tire and uh, the tire went flat and i'm like all right that's what he was doing and that's why the bullet hole is there mm, the guy obviously got on jack i think jock ex got uh, like, you know, extremely bewildered here and uh, <laughs> rupan uh, like uh, rupan is like revenge is not always the answer god will punish him definitely in his own way and then like you know we see like you know them underneath just cutting off the, the goemon and jigen cutting off the the part grabbing all the gold and i was like oh my god so that was the plan they were going to do this and uh, you know like i was like wow that's a very good plan so <clears throat> and he like you know he's like and the guy sees it outside i'm sure the guy knew this was part of the plan because he already had it like you know uh, planned with fujiko um but obviously he did not know fujiko is also like you know backstabbing him like you know like acting as a double agent so he sees that outside and at first you know it seemed like he's concerned but obviously she, he was not he just went outside and like opened the whole thing and like you know there's no money there and he's like oh uh like, you know, what the hell are you guys doing try to search they search and then he gives a smirk and i at that moment i was like why is he smirking like that and it makes sense after that what he does why he was smirking over there and again this is all according to rupan's plan the gold is gone uh, everyone's searching for where the gold is and uh, <laughs> rupan goes down in, in that um that that uh, that thing that boat thing or whatever the inflated boat thing and the gold is over there and uh, here when he comes in uh, with the gun I'm like, oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Like, he's going on over here. He's definitely going to, like, if you shoot them, he's going to deflect the bullet and they're going to incapacitate you. Uh, and Jigen will also probably shoot you by, the, by that time. And, or maybe Fujiko is going to come and snag your gun over there. Something like that, I was thinking. Um, <laughs> the scene we see when Jigen is picking out his, like, taking out his gun, someone grabbing it, at that moment I thought it was Fujiko taking that gun from the jack guy i'm like oh it's over now you know but then i realized it's fujiko actually taking jigen's gun and i'm like oh boy she did it again she she again betrayed them <laughs> but again this is all part of the plan you know like as I, that's why i said this plan has so many layers to it <laughs> and fujiko is like all right like yeah i betrayed you guys <laughs> jigen is like i knew it this was going to happen uh, the guy, the Jack and Fujiko take the 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 boat, the inflated boat, and here he says that oh my god, like here's when I realize what he's trying to do because he says it. Uh, I get it. You take the insurance and pocket the gold. That's basically the plan. They're going to do this like you know whole thing of oh the gold was stolen. I want my insurance. Get that money and get the gold as well. And the greed of this guy knows no bounds. You can see that. Like he doesn't even stop here. What he does after this is like, he, he, he goes away and uh, <laughs> obviously Jigen and Goemon they're like what the hell like I knew this was going to happen Fujiko again did it and Rupan's like don't worry you know like the, 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 the act, acting is still ongoing you know the, the, like, you know, the play is still on, on, like, you know, ongoing so yeah there's still a little bit of time left <laughs> and he says like, she's a good actress and uh, then as I said, this Jack guy, he doesn't stop at that. He sh points his gun at Fujiko and he's like, oh, like, yeah, we agreed to split this 50-50, but now you're going to, like, you know, die. I'm going to take this with me, blah, 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 all that. You know, like, obviously, everyone, the one who is cunning and, like, you know, uh, who, he, that person is going to win this kind of thing. Now, you know what? I feel like this could have gone a lot of different ways. 
first thing uh they had the camera there and fujiko probably like had this plan with rupan but i think you know what and fujiko had some other plan backup plan plan ready here as well i think what he she was going to do here this is just my guess you know like she she and the guy came out you know with the gold if the guy said something like all right we're going to like you know distribute this 50 50 and was genuinely distributed the gold 50 50 i think fujiko would not say anything and let him get away with it why because this is like you know 50 50 going 50 50 if she goes back it's going to get broken down into a lot of more parts and her portion will be a lot lesser so this is just my guess you know like i feel like she had this backup plan ready where she like you know if, if the guy like you know says that all right i'm going to give this to you 50 percent as we agreed and really gives it to her she would have just gone away with it and like you know did like, you know did not go would not go back to rupan and rupan pretty much knew this as well i think but rupan knew that this guy will be greedy and he's going to do that that's why that wouldn't be a problem so i feel like there's like, like there's a lot of things like this is like a domino effect you could say like if the guy betrays fujiko fujiko is going to betray him and go back to rupan if the guy does not betray fujiko fujiko is going to let it like you know not betray him and go away with him with the money and uh, rupan would lose at that moment but rupan knew that that's definitely not going to happen because this guy is a greedy person he's definitely going to backstab fujiko and fujiko seeing that would take the gold and go back and like you know like have the footage ready i feel like this was like the whole plan as i said fujiko is a type of person who does everything and like you know like you know like sees the benefit in everything and whichever is beneficial to her by a little bit more she she's she's going to do that so if betraying rupan would be beneficial to her and they would get the money 50 50 she would have done that if if it's not if the guy betrays her she would betray her him back and go back and you know like and frame him by using the 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 footage and something like that i feel like i feel like this is what was going to happen here now as i said this is just my guess i'm trying to like you know like guess what fujiko would have done and i feel like this is something that she probably would have done if if the plan went in a different direction and rupa knew that that would if that would happen i would i, I will get betrayed but he knew that the guy would like you know definitely betray her so rupan was sure that yeah fujiko is going to come back and yeah this this is like the whole plan i feel like like wow that's like all right so he's like haha the winner is the one who's cunning blah 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 and fujiko's like yeah you're right the winner the the, the one who wins is the, the, the most cunning <laughs> she, she's probably thinking about rupan she's like yeah he knew this was going to happen and <laughs> That's why it makes him the more more cunning. So yeah, and I knew like they were going to detach the whole thing because there's like two inflatable like you know boat. <laughs> so he uses the like he uses she uses the like you know motorboat to go in a different direction. The inertia momentum makes him almost fall off, and she uses the opportunity to detach the boat and and just go away with the money uh, or gold. Sorry, and she's back. And then we see the recorder because you know, like if 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 they did not like you know take the footage, Zenigata and they would still try to like you know like uh, do something to this and uh, try to track Rupan down. And not only that, he would have probably gotten away with the insurance money. So for a proper revenge, they needed that footage. You know, they needed that footage to put him in jail because if they did not take the footage, you know, he would have gotten away with the insurance money and the girl wouldn't get her revenge. So there you go. The footage was there, you know, and uh, <laughs> Rupan just sent it, sent it to Zenigata. Zenigata just sitting down. The guy comes in. He's like, oh, "You people, what are you doing sitting here? My money is gone. Like, go and find it." <laughs> Zenigata's like, "All right, uh, we're going to do that. But first, here's a, like, you know, let, let's let's watch this together. You know, there's an interesting video here, <laughs> sent by Rupan and." He just sees everything, like you know, like, like him laughing, like a, like you know, like talking about how everyone who's cunning is going to win, blah blah blah, and yeah, he's in jail now, and I feel like this is the perfect revenge because if he was killed, that's it. But now he's going to rot in jail for I don't know how many years, and his reputation will be in tatters. Everything's going to go downhill from here on, and he's going to suffer. And remember, 
all the sins that he have committed up until now and that's that's the perfect revenge and uh, yeah so after that rupan uh, actually gives a safe key to the girl and says like like half of the gold is here and we're going to take half of it as our <laughs> as our fees uh, <laughs> And the girl was like, oh, "No, nah. like you know, I, I I don't need the gold. And I'm 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 fine. I just wanted my revenge, and I got it, and I'm content with that." <laughs> and uh, yeah, he was like, "I was able to give up on everything. Goes back to the bar, the broken glass, the cherry, and I was able to give up on everything. Uh, and then I came across that bar, and they're like, you know, Rupan, like you know, there was Rupan probably left her a message." that I'm closing down this bar and the cocktail has been discontinued as well which kind of shows that yeah no more revenge for you you cannot live your life like don't no need to get into those type of things again and she throws the final dart closes the door goodbye rupan and goes away leaves the key on the on the glass on top of the cherry uh, yeah that was a really good episode wow oh boy so yeah all right let's start episode uh number 49 mm, yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. All right. Well, it's a desert. Oh, my God, it's hot. <laughs> uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> This <laughs> a broken down car. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> you need a new car. Then you got that. All right, hitchhiking. It'd be funny if it was actually Rupan's car. Oh. Oh, it stopped. I feel like no. <laughs> oh my god, yo, that's a cactus. That's Rupan, isn't it? <laughs> I knew that car is Rupan's. <laughs> yo, get out from the cactus. You... Oh my god.
Pops is gonna get a Wait, what? <laughs> What's that title? <laughs> oh my god, what is that title? Oh, is this the thing that Lupin is called? Madam Tequila? There you go, that's the... Is she going to adopt him? Black Pig, that's the name of the diamond? Oh! Everyone says that. Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, Zenigata. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> he's happy. But he's alone going to do this? What? Oh. Oh, there you go. They have police. <laughs> Where did these people come from? Like Zenigata was alone. Oh, guess he, he probably contacted the local authorities. The jetpack! Oh my god! Yo, this reminds me of GTA San Andreas, you know? Like, it also had like a similar type of a jetpack in the game. Oh, uh, those were the days, you know? Ah! <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you need flying lessons, Rupan. Or or maybe the jetpack itself is yeah. <laughs> yeah, the jetpack is malfunctioning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. What? The, the launching rockets? What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, you need a different plan. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, again, is he again using the jetpack? Oh, it's a, okay. Nah, I don't think so. Oh no, I feel like, oh my god, he's ready. He is ready. Oh my god, this reminds me so much of the shows we used, cartoons we used to see in older days, like Tom and Jerry and stuff. Using the thing to, and then putting a cross mark. <laughs> Are they going to suck him in? Oh no, okay, never mind. Oh, move! <laughs> mm. 
There you go. They're, they're doing a good job. But they're keeping it in my way. <laughs> this girl is also about in insurance. What's... Oh my god. What the hell? Let's <laughs> try. <laughs> All right. Let's see what it does. He's ready, I think. Wow. Oh my god, that's a barricade. Okay. Ah, this is going to be nasty. Oh! Ah! Nice! There you go, they got in. That's a fake one. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Alright, he's got in. The the lady will be very happy. <laughs> Maybe Lupin's in disguise or something. It's in that Zenigata in disguise. Uh, Rupan in disguise. I knew it. I knew he was going to do something like this. There you go. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Yo, he. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There goes our insurance. <laughs> what is he doing? Why is he trying to climb that? <laughs> oh no, the whole thing is going to... Yo, someone help her! There you go. And he gotta guess it. Run! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it, fan? <laughs> wow, the way he's... Oh my god. He could have gotten through the window? Never mind. How is he climbing? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Be careful! <laughs> All right, Jigen is here. He's ready. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what now? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Jigan needs to come. <laughs> well. It's, there you go. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there you go. The madam will be very happy. She's like, "Ah, oh, hey. I think he, the title of the episode is going to happen now. <laughs> Adoption. <laughs> Wow. I don't think that's for him. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he just wants to chase Zupan, that's what. Oh my god, come on, sending at that. There you go. Oh my god. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> what the hell is that? My god, she's going to <laughs> Oh my god, that's going to break his bones or something. Well, you killed him. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, he she wanted the insurance. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. The fake's got his own insurance. What? Oh. The fake had an Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what's happening to Zenigata? Let's see. Ah! <laughs> 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 Is he being drugged or something? I feel like. <laughs> that echo.
Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, he's not been drugged. Never mind. That was just a dream. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's happening? Oh my god. Why is she so I guess she wants to keep her lineage just like you know keep keep it on going. <laughs> just slaps it with the money. Here you go. <laughs> this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> They're like, oh perfect. <laughs> we have a perfect plan for this. Oh, damn. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I want to tell us to find. Well, here we are. Ah! Time to suck it all in. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, what's he going to do? He can't even. Oh, my God. Yo, calm down. Oh no. Ah. Oh no, he her special technique. Oh my god. Oh, well. And yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, I think okay, he wouldn't be able to handle this much. All the money is just destroyed. Wow. Okay, you know what? You have the diamond with you. Take it and leave. Just. It's fine. Oh my, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what happened to Zenigata? Is he still in there? <laughs> what hair? Yeah, what hair? Like, she lost everything, uh, but I guess she has her business and everything. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> okay. Now I wonder, like you know, um, I, like obviously, like we, like you know, I, I know that um, diamond is like basically like coal, you know, like it's like a part of like you know, like a variant of coal. Uh, but like, do they, does that that happen actually? Like you know, like I guess it would probably because, uh, like I'm guessing the outer shell was something which was like, like you know, became like a diamond, and maybe the inner part was still coal. 
or something like that. So that's why they said like the outer shell kind of went away and it, all that was left was coal. But yeah, I guess like, you know, it's different for those diamonds, which are like completely see-through or like, it's like completely formed, like, you know, the diamond has been formed completely. But this was probably like a diamond in the making or something like that. Only its outer shell was like, uh, like, you know, crystallized or like in, in diamond form. Something like that, I'm guessing, because um yeah otherwise it wouldn't make sense because a diamond is like the hardest substance in the world like a, a mere explosion wouldn't just destroy it so what happened basically i think like the outer shell just popped off or something but for like you know for this instance at least and that's how they were all they were left with was a coal all right <laughs> okay this episode it starts with <laughs> Then you got in the de like you know just going and like, it's like hot or desert outside and like you know, the, 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 his car breaks down he's just tired of it and then he finally sees like another car coming and he's like oh I'm saved and <laughs> turns out it was Lupin Lupin almost tried to <laughs> but you know what in Lupin's defense he just wanted to say hi you know he was not trying to uh, <laughs> run <laughs> Zenigata over. He was just coming to tell hi. And uh, yeah, Zenigata <laughs> ran on top of a cactus. Like, that was painful. Like, imagine climbing up a cactus. My god, that's, that's not something that I want to imagine. Like, with your bare hands climbing up a cactus. Oh, that, that makes me shudder. Uh, uh. But yeah, um. <laughs> Lupin is like, oh, Pops, I'm just here to say you, like, you know, like just greet you. And, <laughs> and then, then he got, he's like, all right, then I'll leave you to it. Just goes away. Then he got, that's like, all right, I'm going to get you now, Lupin. This time, you know, like, I know what you're doing and I'm going to get you. And uh, yeah, this lady, uh, what's her name? Mm, Madam Tequila. There you go. Uh, Madam Tequila, she... And a diamond, which is called the Black Pig of Mexico. Yeah. Uh, she's with this, the diamond, and she's like, um, no, I don't need your help. You know, you, you can take your police force and just leave. Because obviously she had the plan of using that fake diamond as like a uh, ploy to get the insurance money. So... Like, I, <laughs> I think like this is like a new type of a thing that we can see now. Like, it's like not only like, you know, these people are trying to save their thing, but they're also trying to get the insurance money. <laughs> this is like a level up. Like up until this time, all that, all that the people did was like just try to save the diamond. But now, not only they're trying to save the diamond, but they're also trying to get the insurance money. Like, it's like a level up for them. <laughs> The previous episode as well, the guy was all about the insurance money and the gold and this episode as well, the lady's like, oh, I want my insurance money and the diamond. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> so, and uh, the lady's uh, like, I don't need your help. And Zenigata's like, what the hell, like, you, know, you, you, you hicks, you know, like, I mean, you, you don't know Rupan's power, this, that, blah, 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 it's just shouting and the lady's like, how dare you call us that? And just, and then she's like, you know what, all right, go ahead. You know, just do whatever you want to. And <laughs> the lady's like, yeah, I, I want, I want Rupan to steal this. <laughs> the funny thing here is, like, you know, here the, the owner actually wanted Rupan to steal it. And this, like, you know, like in, in this moment is the time when Zenigata actually was able to stop Rupan multiple times for getting the diamond. <laughs> Usually he fails like, you know, at the beginning, but this time he was really able to fend him off. But I guess like uh, like half of the fault lied with Rupan's um, uh, you know gadgets that he was using. First the jetpack, which just malfunctioned in the way and it just <laughs> was not going well. And uh, <laughs> Zenigata was ready with some rockets, and just shot it towards him. And yeah, like that failed. That first attempt failed. Zenigata was so happy. He's like, yeah, finally, you know, like. Finally, I, I'm, I'm able to stop Rupan. And uh, <laughs> then the next plan is the 
the digger the the, the mole whatever i don't know what that was and <laughs> that was a good plan but you know what zenigata after like you know chasing rupan for so many years uh, he knows he knows what he can do after what so if the air doesn't work zenigata was like all right he tried the air it didn't work probably underground that's what's going to happen so he was ready with the with the the thing uh, what was that the this the stethoscope or, or something like that yeah um or whatever it's called i don't know what it's called but <laughs> that thing um he oh my god this this scene reminded me so much of those uh like you know cartoons that we used to watch i feel like ruban does this multiple times i've seen this before as well where they kind of bring this whole thing of uh like you know like older days cartoons but i guess ruban itself is old so I, I think like this type of a thing was probably very popular back then you know well uh, like and i've seen this scene multiple times in a lot of other cartoons like you know especially tom and jerry where like you know probably someone's coming from underground they take out that thing put it uh, realize where they're coming from take out a pen or whatever and like you know press uh like you know do a um, like cross mark over there when it's going to pop up and it gets ready with something like whenever that's going to pop up it's going to hit it with the weapon or whatever so same thing happened here and uh, she he was ready he, he was ready with it rupan pops up and i thought they were going to suck rupan in using that vacuum but it's not a vacuum it's basically a water pipe they flood them <laughs> the rupan with the water <laughs> and rupan just <laughs> comes out of the other side and uh, yeah rupan's failing uh, multiple times now and uh, the madam tequila's like what the hell like th th this guy's too good at his job and i don't want that i want him to fail and rupan to come and steal my um diamond so <laughs> oh my god and then the next try actually succeeds they they go uh, with a simple method just a tractor and uh, with a bazooka as well <laughs> they use the tractor to rush in and they barricaded the place with tanks i don't know where they get those tanks from <laughs> like so many tanks um but yeah uh zenigat uh jigen just blows it up with his bazooka and had dummy uh like fake uh dolls ready on the tractor and probably just you know just bailed as soon as the whole like you know they, they crossed the, the gate they probably bailed just leaving their dolls over there and Zenigata obviously just rushes and like, oh, I finally got you, Rupan, and bam, it was just a trap. <laughs> right, now, this time I was able to guess, uh, like, you know, like, that was a disguise. Like, Rupan comes in, like, I was, I was having, like, you know, like, what can I say? I, I thought maybe I, it's either, like, the, the, the other guy, you know, the, the, the butler or whatever, or Zenigata in disguise. And, uh, <laughs> and I was right. He comes in. And he's like, oh, like, you know, like, Rupan is here. I, I, I want you to give the um, pen, uh, like, the, the necklace to me so that I can keep it safe. <laughs> and yeah, there you go. That's Rupan. Uh, Zenigata would never do something like that. So, unfortunately, the actual Zenigata comes in. <laughs> Within the confusion, like, you know, them just trying to get the diamond um it goes into the throat of the lady oh my god like she's dying over there and these two are just <laughs> just destroying the property like you know getting on top of the statue just statue breaks and <laughs> the lady's dying in the background the butler is just panicked he doesn't know what to do but yeah finally uh, the thing comes out <laughs> <laughs> because Zenigata pushes the lady down and uh, Rupan gets the diamond and just bails. The lady's like, oh, thank God, you know, the, 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 the diamond is out. Rupan took it all according to Keikaku. And, uh, and then there's a little chase scene and my God, the way they run in that small little narrow space, like Rupan's running and Zenigata's running. I don't know how they climb that tower like you know like 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 probably like you know 10 or like you know 5 to 10 years of practice just Zenigata trying to catch Rupan made him so capable of just climbing the tower he, he was just he was just climbing it like nothing 
<laughs> like spider man and <laughs> rupan as well just <laughs> goes on top and jigen is like like what the hell are you doing why are you playing with him you know <laughs> rupan is also having fun but yeah jigen was ready when rupan was cornered and almost got <laughs> jigen comes in saves rupan and then gata falls down into the water and uh, yeah this is where the problem starts and like this uh, episode goes into a weird turn takes a weird turn this lady she's like oh i want you to be my heir i want to adopt you and uh, as a successor now I, I did wonder why she tried to do that uh, probably she doesn't have any like you know like uh, she's not married and uh, she probably thought about like you know adopting someone or something like you know so that uh, you know like that person can succeed her but now that she found Zenigata and saw how capable he, he is, she's probably like, all right, you know what? Instead of adopting someone you know, like, you know, who I don't know, I can see this person is capable enough. Let me just adopt him and he can carry on my legacy. <laughs> oh God. Like interesting thing here. Like I, I, I think like, I think this is the first time I've seen like a person, like we could see that this lady was actually trying to like, you know, trick the authorities get the money like you know like and of the insurance like we can see like you know like the, the greedy part in this whole plan but at the same time she was also concerned about her uh you know like the person who succeed her i've never seen any type of person do that before at least in rupan where the person was not only concerned about the money that they're getting but they're also concerned about who is going to succeed them and this lady, I think, like, she, uh, this really shows she's a businessman. Uh, she's, she's a businesswoman. And, uh, yeah, she, she's not only thinking about the money, but she's also thinking about the what's going to happen when she will not be able to carry this on. Like, she needs someone to uh, succeed him, her. And she's also thinking about that. That shows how much of a businesswoman she is. And... <laughs> she's, like, she's like, all right, I'm going to... You know, I saw how capable you are. I'm going to become, let you become my successor i'm going to adopt you at first then was like what are you joking and then she, she he gets these visions of what's going to happen you know like so many people just like you know the, like just uh taking pictures of him him in a good suit like you know girls just fawning over him and uh, for a moment there he was kind of like oh like it might not be so bad you know but then you know like he he realized that, like nah like my priority is rupan <laughs> But the lady is obviously not listening to him. He's like, no, I decided you're going to be my hair and you're going to my, be my hair. I don't care. <laughs> then he like, no, nah, I need to run. Like, this is, this is a big problem on its own. And she uses her baseball skill using a bowling ball to just knock him down. And oh my god. And on the other side, Rupan realizes that it's a fake one. And the fake one had like an insurance of 10 billion. I don't know how a fake diamond cap can have so much of an insurance. I don't know that. Like, is that even possible? Like, shouldn't, wouldn't the people who like, you know, take like, like check whether it's a fake or not? Like, how is that even possible? I don't know, like probably something. Um, maybe because she is like, you know, such a reputable uh, corporation, the tequila corporation or whatever people, yeah people took it by like on her words like yeah this is a real one and did not check or something i don't know like but yeah like the, the fake one had an insurance of so many much like obviously if the real one had an insurance it would defeat the purpose of it <laughs> so <coughs> so rupan is like all right like let's do it then like we get both of them now <laughs> Zenigata just knocked out like seeing weird visions of Rupan just calling him and him trying to get Rupan but unable to and then Rupan changes into Madame Tequila and he becomes uh, conscious <laughs> and he's like I'm not going to let you adopt me and Tequila's like no you will you know like I'm, I'm definitely going to make you change your mind like throws all the money in front of him like look at this this much of insurance money we got and for a moment he was like, all right, wait, let me, let me just calculate. Like this is so much more than my salary, but you know what? Rupan is more important. I wouldn't be tempted by money. <laughs> Tequila's just slapping him with money. Like, look at this, look at this. You'll get, you're going to get this throughout your life. 
but obviously like you know uh, like you know zenigata is never going to um fall for those cheap tricks <laughs> when there's a rupan to arrest <laughs> but okay so <laughs> jigen sees that and they're like all right they're distracted here perfect timing just goes in grabs the diamond and comes here takes all the money but oh my god what happens here is like chaos this butler guy he he tries to like look use the sword to attack them and obviously he is unable to at first he was doing it pretty good but then jigen just shoots the sword uh, but madame tequila is ready with her bowling balls lupan again kind of just strikes it back to her and then she's like you know what let's throw bombs she starts throwing bombs the whole place blows up the money gets burned everything's gone and they just <laughs> run away from that situation and Lupin and Jigen is like at least we have the black pig but then like we get to know that that itself got blown away the outer shell got completely destroyed and the coal is everything that's left and uh, yeah I think it's something like that like it's probably like a diamond in the making probably the outer crust was the person part which got uh, like you know kind of uh, crystallized and it became like a diamond and since it was coal inside that's why it was like a black diamond and that's what probably made it so valuable like the combination of the coal and the crystallized part so since the outer part went up it's just coal now so yeah uh, no money this time they they only had lost they lost a car you know <laughs> like all like you know like this whole operation ended in a loss while Madame Tequila is still trying to bring adopt Zenigata. And Zenigata is like, no, I don't want to be your hair. And yeah. And I was thinking, like, what is she even talking about? Like, she lost everything. But then I realized, like, she still has her, you know, business. So that's probably what she's trying to do. She's trying to get him to become her hair so that he can take over the business now. Something like that. But yeah. So that's it. Fantastic two episodes. For the first episode, I think it was episode number um, 30. That was really uh, amazing. I loved it so much. 49 was also really good. But yeah, 30 was like in a, in a league of its own. I loved that episode. So yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. So as I said, like, you know, you, you can still recommend me, uh, you know, like uh, episodes. Uh, three more people's recommendations I'm going to take. That is six more episodes. Uh, yeah, two episodes for each person. If you want to, you can recommend me in the comment section. So yeah, and uh, so yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, uh, anything else, and I'll check them out. So yeah, and uh, that's it guys. So next week, I will be doing episode number 26 and 37. So yeah, see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.